are possible. Let's discuss this with Ambassador Ryan Crocker, former U.S. Ambassador to Afghanistan. Um, Ambassador Crocker, I want to get your reaction to the attacks. Twelve U.S. service members killed, 15 more wounded, dozens more innocent Afghans killed and wounded. Was this inevitable? Uh, what, one of the things we, we've been hearing from uh, the White House is they've been fearing of a terrorist attack like this. It, it's been a terrible day, Jake. Uh, one of the very worst. It uh, gets right at, I think, the point that a lot of us have made that when the Taliban come back, um, some really bad guys are going to come back with them. Uh, certainly Al Qaeda, they've kept that relationship through two decades in the wilderness, and uh, Islamic State as well. So uh, the issue is not that the Taliban control the country right now, it's that the Taliban really don't control the country and nobody does. That is a breeding ground uh, for these kinds of actions and for these kinds of people to come back and take root. And that is what brought us 9-11. We've now got the same dynamic. Well, Mr. Ambassador, um, right now, I don't think any of those groups, at least according to U.S. intel, as I understand it, think that, uh, that those groups have the capability of, of attacking the United States, at least as of right now. What do you say to the average American whose first response to these 12 service members being killed and 15 wounded is, it's high time for us to get the hell out of there. Well, you know, that's one way to end a war, surrender. Uh, uh, it's real quick, but the war is yet to come. Uh, we have this whole withdrawal announcement and process uh, has been an enormous morale boost uh, for Islamic radicals everywhere. Al-Qaeda, Islamic State, uh, Pakistani, Taliban, you name it. Uh, they are on a roll and they know it. Uh, and what happens in Afghanistan doesn't stay in Afghanistan. We've seen that before. And our quality of our intelligence to say what we see and don't see, well, Bill Burns, CIA director, has said, with our departure from Afghanistan, the screen's going to get pretty dark. We're not going to have the same access to intel.